There are 500 videos on YouTube about torque wrench calibration. This is 501. For the first two decades at the test facility I managed, I could use dead weight calibrations for transducers and torque wrenches. ISO standards changed that. We had two choices to meet requirements, send out our equipment for calibration or buy electronic calibrators which would also be routinely sent out. And calibration is not cheap. Snap-on charged us $75 per calibration. And if the unit failed and could not be adjusted, after paying the fee, we got to buy a new wrench. Those were the rules. Now I'm retired. So at home, I went back to old school. With major work coming up, I thought I'd show what I've been using for a few years to either check the wrenches or in some cases recalibrate. Overall, the hardware costs about one wrench calibration, depending on what you already have, but I could use it any time I want to. It's a simple setup using two pillow blocks and in this case, threaded rod as the axle. Welding two different sized nuts to either side of the bracket makes the fitting. I can flip the bracket to use either socket size. The existing holes in the bracket are used with bolts and nuts for the 80-20 aluminum extrusion. The bracket simply threads onto the threaded rod, but the rod is not used as a torque driver, just as an axle. The threaded rod would shear the values for testing. For this situation, I'm using a 40 inch length of 8020 in a 1550 designation. And I've marked off 12, 24, and 36 inch points from the center of the axle. I have longer and shorter lengths of 8020 depending on what my needs are. The hanging point is a 516 bolt that can be nutted down anywhere along the length, providing infinite possibilities. A threaded lifting eye is also used. At this case, I'm at 24 inches, and I need to check the additional weight of the arm that's going to be used for calibration. I bought steel plates to use only for this work. 12 by 12 inch squares, one one quarter inch thick, and two one half inch thick. It makes for a total of 50 pounds. As long as they are cut accurately, they are good and cheap test weights. The concept is as old as the pyramids, simple leverage. Depending on what you need to check, you can figure out where you want to check. Calibration standards typically are 20%, 50%, and 100% of the tool's range. An easy quick check is at 50%. With 50 pounds out at 2 feet, I start checking calibration a little over the target. Without the telltale click, I move downrange. A tad over 100 pound feet and 3 clicks gets this wrench done for this demo. The setup also works for a bar type torque wrench. While you can't calibrate it other than bending the indicator, you could know what the true value reads. To check the 3 8 torque wrench that has a 600 pound inch range, my lever point is at 10 inches. The lever additional weight is 0 0.9 pounds. And with 30 pounds of hanging weight, it's right where it should be. Going down to 10 pounds of weight, I could check the quarter inch drive wrench for 100.9 pounds.
it's clicking off, but at a 110 pound setting. So I could just use it and compensate for the calibration error. I bought this wrench on eBay. While it has a calibration label, it doesn't mean it's calibrated. This type of torque wrench is easy to recalibrate. Back off all the tension. Pop out the rubber cap. The retaining nut needs to be removed. There's an index lock washer. There's a flat to reference the shaft. The keys are there to index the handle in the one pound increments. The setup is simple. Move the indicator collar higher or lower on the scale. In this case, 110 pounds should be 100 pounds. And you can find rotate the collar for the 1 pound increments. After placing a reference mark, the nut is backed off one full revolution. Reassemble the wrench and see how it reads now at 100 inch pounds. It clicks at 100. Now at the original 110 pounds. No click at 110. Down to 105. No click at 105. Down to 102.5. Here it clicks at 102.5. So a little bit more adjustment to get the testing value of 100.9 pounds. I won't bore you with the rest of the calibration. So here's the really big guy. A 3 quarter inch torque wrench with a range from 100 to 600 pound feet. It's a good wrench to use for ARP studs due to the length. This setup will be okay for 200 pound calibration. I've been there. But the threaded one half inch rod is marginal at this point with its minor diameter at the thread root. And calibrating at 200 pounds is the highest load I'm willing to go. But I have three quarter inch threaded rod from the seal and bearing kit. So a new bracket will be made and $15 worth of new pillow blocks from eBay. And a heavier table. Here are all the parts that you could use for something like this. I hope someone finds this of use. It provides me with the comfort I know I'm torquing fasteners to the correct tension. Thanks for watching.